What's going on guys? Happy Sunday. Uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, update on my Carolina Reaper bed and my Purple Reaper bed. Um, it's been a while since I did one. I've been very busy. Got a new puppy. Uh, let's start with my runt Carolina Reaper plant. So this one just decided to stay small and all the peppers are pretty small. It's almost like a micro reaper and the phenols are not too great. And the rest, I've been uh, harvesting a lot out of these. So here's the bed here. Just a quick uh, view. Back here is my purple reaper. It's starting to look like Christmas. And this thing has been top at the beginning of the season and it's reaching seven feet tall. Just measure it today. So it looks like I have tons and tons of reaper to, to harvest. The plants are looking okay. Been having a little bit of caterpillar problem. Can't find most of them because it's so bushy. Uh, <clears throat> the plants are showing a little bit of sign of uh, nutrient uh, depleting because I mean the season is almost coming to an end but I do uh, still feed them and fertilize them a little bit but you can't really see the peppers but if you let me get down you can see that it's completely loaded there's so many peppers on there and there's a lot of green ones left it's just loaded it's probably, I don't, I don't know, maybe 100, 200 peppers. Maybe more than that. I, I'm just get, guessing. And then we're not counting all the green ones. But yeah, looks beautiful from down here. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to stock up for my beef jerky. And the purple reaper. It's beautiful. Go on the other side. <clears throat> See, you can tell the caterpillars are around, but I can't find them. It's just so bushy. But yeah, just looking at this view, you can just count hundreds of peppers. Yeah, so this is my reaper bed. Oh, quickly, let me show you guys my uh, Kangstar uh, Lemon Starburst. I'm on uh, my second wave. The first wave, both plant uh, produce. Uh, one of them was like over 200. The other one was climbing to 200. But second wave, phenols are on point. Here's the 32-gallon one. A lot of them are starting to ripen up. pretty loaded so I should have a pretty big harvest coming soon I'm just waiting a few days for them to ripen up probably pick some more so I'm pretty sure I'll probably reach 400 pods for each plant by the end of the season which is pretty good for my second year so here's the 32 gallon one Still nice and healthy. Then I have this mixed raised bed. It's doing okay. Showing a lot of nutri uh, nutrient uh, depleting because leaves are looking a little yellow, but I'll continue to fertilize it and season's coming to an end soon. Got some scarlet rose right here. Oh, no. Yeah. Pretty nice pheno right there. My mystery pepper. Pretty sure there's some boot in there somewhere. Then we got a couple, uh, some pop brain strain back there. Yellow reapers right here. Almost ready. Yeah. 
these guys are pretty loaded this one doesn't seem to have too much of a crazy stinger but there's one that's okay Oh, ahi lemon drop. This one have been giving me tons and tons of pepper. It's looking a little uh, droopy because the sun is hitting it right now. But there's so many peppers left over. Lots of green ones left. Like I said before, it's as much peppers as leaves. <laughs> Then my Jay Peach Ghost was like really sick, so I chopped it down. Some Bahamian goats. This plant produced a lot for me also. Been picking the whole season, making hot sauce. Got some Buchalokia. Doing okay. And this is the Trinidad Scorpion, Carmel Trinidad Scorpion. <laughs> Starting to ripen up. Lots of green one left. Yeah. The one back here is uh, Trinidad Scorpion chocolate. Pretty big pod. Got lots of green ones over here. This is the lemon starburst in uh, the 20 gallon bucket. It's pretty loaded, second wave also. And it's funny because the 20 gallon actually uh, produce on the first wave actually produce more pods than uh, the 32 gallon but these are starting to ripen up a little bit but you know what we'll see at the end of the season because right now it looks like the 32 gallon is more loaded than the 20 gallon I got some Kingstar white ties looking okay Lots of peppers on them. I can't keep up with it, so that's why some of them are turning red. It's okay though. I will save it for seeds. Oh, and my little Home Depot supposedly golden ghost. Also loaded with a lot of peppers. The first wave peppers were really small because um, it was over winter from last year, and that, and then I finally dug it up and recondition the soil and this I mean the second wave is actually a lot bigger I mean it looks more like a golden ghost now so yeah take care of plants reconditioning and you know you get better sized pods okay well that's it guys um, just doing a really quick update you guys have a wonderful weekend thank you